says, oh, remember God from afar. He says, you are in a far place. Remember God from afar. And let Jerusalem come to your mind. Hallelujah. Let it come to your mind. The city of lights, let it come to your mind. The place of brightness, let it come to your mind. Oh, and that takes us to the next part. You see, he says, let Jerusalem come to your mind. My word builds faith and gives strength to all who receive it. To all who receive it. My word makes, my word creates. What is it that you desire? What is it that you have seen? The word will make it for you. That's what I said in other tongues. Praise God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let Jerusalem come to your mind. Are you hearing this? But there's something even better. Moving Father. He says, ye are come to Mount Zion. Jeremiah said, let Jerusalem come to your mind. Oh God. Salamate ke bosa kalama hedidis. Zevron do ligro hose Are you in this place? Okay. Let's move on. Tell somebody, let's move on. Say it again, let's move on. Second Peter. Chapter 1. You ready for it? I'm reading to you from verse 16. For we have not followed cunningly devised fables when we made known unto you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but we are witnesses of his majesty. Peter is writing this. For he, Jesus, received from God the Father honor and glory. When there came such a voice to him from the excellent glory, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Peter is telling them what happened. And he says, and this voice which came from heaven, we heard when we were with him in the holy mountain. He says, while we were with Jesus, you remember that occasion? And his disciples were with Jesus when a voice spoke from heaven to Jesus and said, this is my beloved son. Thank you, Lord. In whom I'm well pleased. Peter says, this voice which came from heaven, we heard. We heard it. He's explaining his very experience. Then he says something significant here. Verse 19. We have also a more sure word of prophecy. A more sure word. Something better than human experience. No matter what your vision was, there's something better. It is God's word. It says there's a more sure word of prophecy. But I want you to see something here. I want you to see something here. This is this is powerful. We have also a more sure word of prophecy. Whereunto you do well that you take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts. This is beautiful. This is marvelous. Here, he shows us something so powerful. The experience. The experience. Then, the more sure word of prophecy. The more sure word of prophecy is better than the experience. A 
And when you have this more sure word of prophecy, he says, you do well to hold on to it as unto a light that shines in a dark place. And you know that the light for the darkness is the lesser light. He says that prophecy is the lesser light. Are you still here? He says, hold on to the prophecy. Hold on to the prophecy as a light that shines in a dark place. Hold it until the day dawn. I said, until the day dawn. When the day dawns in your heart, he says, you will know it. Hold on to that prophecy until the day dawns. He didn't say until the prophecy is fulfilled. He says, hold on to what? That more sure word of prophecy until it is fulfilled? No, that's not what he said. Until the day dawns. He says, because you need that prophecy in a dark place. Why are some people in a dark place? There's a reason they found themselves in a dark place. They are living in the night of their life. He says, in that place of night, in that place of darkness, you need prophecy. But you hold on to that prophecy until the day dawns in your heart. Until the day dawns in your heart. He didn't say until the prophecy is fulfilled. Many people are hoping, waiting for the prophecy to be fulfilled. You are wrong, my brother. You are wrong, my sister. He didn't say hold on to the prophecy until it is fulfilled. He says hold on to the prophecy until the day dawn. And the day star arise in your heart. There are those who have been waiting for a prophecy to come to pass. And they say, I don't know why this prophecy has not come to pass. There is a reason it has not come to pass. You are living in the darkness. And the prophecy is to be held onto as a flicker of light in a dark place. The trouble is, you are still in a dark place. And that darkness has overwhelmed your heart. He says, when the day turns in your heart. Hey. When the day turns in your heart. You are using the lesser light. And the lesser light is for the darkness. The lesser light is for the night. When you turn on the greater light, the greater light will tell you the now of your life. It will tell you who you are in Christ. It will tell you what belongs to you today. Can you shout amen, somebody? There is a greater light than that prophecy. The prophecy might have said that God said you will get well. Yes, you can hold on to it as a light in a dark place until the day dawn in your heart. When the day dawns, you know what, brother? It means that the greater light is ruling. The greater light, because the greater light is not for the night. The prophecy is for the night. The darkness. Let the day dawn in your heart. When the day dawns in your heart and the death star arise in your heart, you will know that there is a greater truth. That greater truth, that greater light is not that God said you are going to get well, but that, oh my God, listen, it means that the light of life that has been given to you is already shining. The Bible says the true light now shineth. That means this sickness from which the lesser truth said you will be healed does not exist at all. This is the greater light. Do you understand the greater light? Those who function in the greater light will not know night in 2010. Are you still there? The lesser light says you have lost money. The lesser light says your business is going down. The lesser light says you have been cheated. But the greater light tells you there is an abundance in your life. Can you shout amen somebody? How could you lose when the Lord is your shepherd and you shall not want. He makes you lie down in green pastures. 